from the drugs and late night fights. That's two guys named Mark and they would gotten some embroilment over a cigarette lighter. To the personal victories. It was the first key he'd ever gotten. He finally got an apartment, went through the whole process, it took a year. Each one of Joel Copeland's pieces tells a story. So this is my friend Rosie, Rosie McFadden. She came and sat several times, actually. Stories about things he sees firsthand. Well, it's an eye-opener to be down here, that's for sure. In 2018, Copeland moved near West Jefferson Street and South 11th Avenue. He was instantly drawn to his surroundings. The whole milieu of what's going on down here was just so different, so fascinating, I just couldn't help but do it. I got drawers of drawings. And he began putting the images of what's now known as the zone to canvas. I've learned about humanity, that's for sure. I've learned a lot about how people interact with each other. His paintings capture pain, sadness, in some cases a smile. There's compassion and there's incompassion. But Copeland's hope is that his work will evoke emotion. Reality is, is you know, it's, it's intense. And inspire change. There's an intensity about the paintings that I wanted to depict too because there's an intensity about the situation here. They're not for just above the couch. They're to, to raise awareness so that we can do something about it. And it was hot and she was sweating and she was, she was sitting out in front of the building. And as he continues his work. People come and look at them and, and, and say that there's, you know, dignity and humanity and, and all that and, and paintings of people that are, you know, downtrodden. He's hopeful change will one day come and his muses will get the help they need. Jay Cunningham, 12 News.